Can we do a professional photo editing on an iPad? Well, I do have an iPad and an iPen. So let's go. I'm using Affinity Photo for iPad. This is the beta version 2.1. Um, that's pretty much the only application that I know that will be able to compete with the desktop version. I know that Photoshop, I've done an application for um, the iPad, but it's very basic. It's not even close to compare to Affinity. So, um, all right, first I'm just gonna develop the raw photo, get the color balance, and contrast, and whatever is needed then just develop it then I'm making a duplicate of uh, the first layers I'm not working on the original and then first thing first I'm just gonna go even though that model has got perfect skin I'm gonna just go with the end painting brush and then clean up little makeup smudges and uh, little pimples and things. I'm gonna accelerate the process so you don't get bored, but you get the point. Then I just work on maybe the flies away, uh, I'm the one I don't like, but, uh, and maybe uh, the little veins on the eyes, just to clean up. Then I'm gonna use the frequency separation. Some people don't like it, I like it. I'm gonna go with like three pixels because it is a pretty big file. All right, first I work on the low frequency layer. So get all the smudges, any discoloration and um, just to try to make the skin as clean as possible there's the before and after so we can start to see a little difference eh? then what i like to do is just do a little gaussian blur like in the forehead on the cheeks they maybe the chin but very subtle so it doesn't look too fake you know, the plasticky look. Just for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna use the liquefied tool. She really doesn't need it, but you know, what the heck. Then I'm going to do some dodge and burn. Uh, the way I do it, I open a new pixel layer, then I do it on overlay, 
then use the paintbrush in a very low opacity and I use you know the white to dodge and the black to burn And then I can use the opacity of the layer if it's too much. It's always too much, so it's always better to bring it down a bit. 60%, that looks pretty good. All right. Here I'm just gonna select an eye and make them a little bit greener just so they pop a bit And now what I want to do is change the background color just to demonstrate how this refine selection tool is pretty efficient. And here we can see on that model the hair has a lot of flies away and um, that makes it like a challenging for any uh, photo editing that I think he did a great job I mean we didn't lose much hair it looks very natural I don't see any uh, gray background sticking out now I'm gonna add some contrast and the way I do it I just add a black and white layer so I can adjust the color tones the skin tone the hair background and then I put it the layer on overlay and then I can adjust the opacity of the layer then I'm just gonna add a little vignetting just to have the model popping a little bit more and I think it's good this editing you know was just to demonstrate what we can do on, a, on an iPad but um, in this case we will have done more or less well, it will have depend on the client, but um, I don't have a laptop. I just have either a desktop computer or an iPad. So when I'm on the go, uh, I just have to rely on an iPad. And um, well, I definitely have been able to like do some editing and um, have great results. You can see the before and after, so you can judge by yourself.